Hi, Cliff Becker with Dairy Herd Management Magazine, and we're back at World Dairy Expo. Today I've got with me Kevin Murphy, who is the Global Technical Director for Virtus. Kevin, I've got my salmon, I've got my pomegranates, I've got my omega-3s, my omega-7s. I do everything internally to try to keep myself fit and keen and clean. Our dairy cattle are no different, right? Correct. As far as Virtus Nutrition goes, tell me about the unique role that you're playing on the nutrition side of dairy cattle. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what we've discovered with our research in the past few years. Much based upon the human research, we've discovered it works in cows, too. Um, Omega-3 fatty acids are essential um, in dairy cattle nutrition. And what it affects is it affects milk production and it affects reproduction. Principally, we end up with more pregnant cows. So as far as the activity that this brings to the cow, what, what, how does the cow transform? How does the cow affected by uh, this nutritional application? Is it a, is it a rumen enhancement product or? Um, it's actually a bypass fat or rumen inert fat. It's a calcium salt technology we have using these essential omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids. And depending upon the ratio or the, the grams that, that actually get to the cow, um, it's affecting milk production, first of all, um, dry matter intake, and then the key point is um, it lowers early embryonic mortality. And I think that's probably the most important part for producers and for the cow itself. Um, since you have less embryo, mor less embryo mortality, you end up with more pregnant cows. So not only is it a nutritional aspect, but reproduction is enhanced as well yeah. in all facets also. Yeah, and that's the key because the dairymen, you know, we're, we're always struggling with reproduction in these high producing cows. And uh, what we've discovered is that we're getting the cow, actually, there is, the cows are fertile. We're getting a conception, but then that embryo doesn't survive out for the first 60 days, so we, and we're losing a lot of them. And what the omega-3 fatty acids do is they enhance that. They enhance the survival um, significantly, and we end up with more pregnant cows. So different fatty acids at different times? How, how does the whole application of these uh, omega acids affect the cow? Right. Um, we have two different two different levels. The first level is during transition, pre-fresh, early post-fresh. We really want to emphasize the omega-6 fatty acids, um, which helps the cow um, get going after calving um, and gets her cycling. And then we, after calving, we put the omega-3 fatty acids in, which actually makes the, makes the cow more, fer more fertile overall. And this affects its embryo mortality, and it also affects milk production. It gives us higher milk production. Uh, obviously, those, some of those benefits and features we find in different sets or, or uh, uh, different types of products. Competitively, how do you stack up between the other products? How do you just differentiate from other either uh, fatty acids or mega acids or rumen bypass products? Um, the research, our research is focused around the, the fish oil fatty acids, much as like you said. Um, the fish oil fatty acids have the most activity. Um, and from a nutrition standpoint, that's really good dairy cattle nutrition because we need to feed you know, as low a level of uh, fatty acids as possible um, for the cow. Um, and that's where, I mean, that's where the differentiation is. You could, you could use an ingredient such as fish meal to get the effect. However, you have to feed two and a half to three pounds, whereas you can feed a quarter pound of our calcium salt and, and get the omega-3 effect. So higher concentrations? Yeah, much standards. higher concentration. Uh, what are other benefits? We talked about nutrition. We talked about reproduction. Uh, obviously, those things all equal dollars in your pocket. Mm -hmm. But what else do we see in the, on, on the effects of the, of the cow? Well, the effects of omega-3s, much like on the human side, it's actually, it's actually modulating the immune system and affecting the immune system positively. Um, we're, we're very early on in that actual research. You know, we have the benefits to the dairymen right now, which is the milk production and more pregnant cows, um, but we can, we're continuing to do research along the immune system line because all the parameters that we've looked at so far, you know, we're actually positively affecting the immune system. Um, we haven't put that into production benefits yet, but that's, you know, that's for, that's for another chapter. Gotcha. We'll do that on the next tape. Kevin, thank you so much. We appreciate it, and uh, good luck to Virtus for the rest of the show. Okay, thank you. Thank you.